Please don't dawdle, Alice. We're very late indeed. You've gone quite mangy, Cat. But your grin's a comfort. And you've picked up a bit of an attitude. Still curious and willing to learn, I hope. Wonderland's become quite strange. I always want to find her way. As knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior. Suppress your instinct to lead. Pursue, Rabbit. Our land is destroyed, our spirit crushed. Reminds me of the asylum. Is there no joy here? Slavery and happiness do not dwell in the same house. When the path is problematical, consider a leap of faith. Ride the wind. Cheer up no trouble, stranger. The Red Queen's agents are ruthless. I'm not afraid of her or her creatures. Never was, really. You should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the Queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Meta-essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. Your knife is necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance, and you may survive.
Everyone seems completely dejected. Are things really as bad as all that? The truth would reduce you to a blubbering baby. Are you the saviour Rabbit has been telling us about all this time? I shouldn't think so. I'm a person. And just now, I wish to get very small. About this big. Calls for serious twisting. You'll need to go sideways, not forward. If I knew how, I'd go sideways myself. Not twisted, small. I wish to become about this big. The fortress of doors hold such secrets. But it will take more than a wish to get inside. Doors have locks. Locks need keys which you don't have. Let's hope the doors are open. And if not, there may be more than one way to skin a cat, if you'll pardon the expression. Most unpleasant metaphor. Please avoid it in future. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Rabbit told us a champion would come. Are you that champion? Perhaps. Can you get me inside the Fortress of Doors? Oh, no. I wouldn't dare. Since the upheaval, we've all become gutless halfwits. I can barely risk crossing the road. But make your way to the mines, the deepest pit. There's one wiser and braver than myself who might help. He still lives free. Every adventure requires a first step, trite but true even here. Why do you pursue me to this deserted place? To benefit from your wisdom. Even blurred vision is valued by the blind. If I were clever, would I cower in this slag heap? I'm not wise, girl. I've just grown old. I wish to get very small, no bigger than a mouse. Do you know how I might do that? Only that? Oh yes, I could manage that. For a price. I have nothing of value. You have nerve and your health. Mine are nearly gone. I've seen too much suffering, and I smoke too much, you see. What must I do? In the card guard's compound, a particularly rough diamond holds a key. Retrieve it. I will repay the favor.
key. Very resourceful. Rabbit's confidence is not misplaced. He is no fool. I certainly hope he is not. Use the key to free my clan from the oppressive burden they carry. Any fight against the Queen's tyranny is a good fight. They've suffered... I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? There's a school inside the fortress where you'll find certain items for creating a concoction that will make you small. What items exactly? Items. Items, girl. You'll know them when you see them. Uh, speaking of seeing things, we should avoid the card guards' notice. Hang on. Ah! Eventually, you must break through such walls. But for now, jump! The guards are tools of the Queen. All suits are dolts, but dangerous. Time to raise some havoc. The dogs of war are loose. Entering school requires a real leap of logic. Here's a riddle. When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? I tell you, whenever you want it to be. There's a bit more to do than you suggested, don't you think? No need for sarcasm. 
I admit my memory's not what it was. But I'm here now. To try to amend its deficiencies. The library contains a recipe for the potion. Consult the book of bizarre things. Oh no! Run! Steps to enlightenment brighten the way, but the steps are steep. Take them one at a time. There's no lock, but it won't open. It's stuck. Treated like a Chinese box or a stubborn lid, a tap in the right spot might do the trick. You call that a tap? Fortunate I didn't suggest force. You might have pulverized it. Mushrooms, poppies, sugar and spice, all those things are very nice. When combined, the proper mixture makes a getting small elixir. Hmm, I don't really like sweets. The gymnasium should be safe. Guards never exercise, can't afford to lose the weight. I never cared for sports at school. I don't have to put on a penny, do I? No, it wouldn't suit you. I've recalled one of the potion's ingredients. Mushrooms, lovely texture. What's that? Fortunate I passed by. Meaning what? I was about to say you're lucky to have found me. Look, I found the last ingredient sugared spice drops. Whenever we meet up, seems I also find a bit more trouble. Seen any jumbo grow about? There's a bit in that flask on the sideboard. You see, we're set. Bring back some poppy blooms and we'll mix up the potion. This condenser can mix the potion. Doesn't look like it's good for much else, though. Now time to leave, but not as you came. Go by way of the observatory. This stars for your stellar performance. May open some doors for you.
What's all this then? Did someone die? Have you lost your family? No, my shell! The Duchess stole it and tried to eat me for lunch. Nobility must be served, I suppose. <laughs> Stop that wailing, won't you? You're very cold-blooded for a mammal. I was almost soup. Tragic, I'm sure, but I'm a bit pressed for time. Have you seen a rabbit? Hmm. Twitchy nose, shifty eyes, constantly consults his pocket watch. Most peculiar beast. Well, he's very dear to me. I must find him. Caterpillar could help, I'm quite certain. He knows everything there is to know. And where does that smushy layabout hang his hooker these days? Since the troubles began, he's in hiding. I couldn't divulge the secret. I couldn't risk telling you... without something in return. Risk nothing, gain nothing. His whereabouts, then, for my shell. The Duchess won't part with it willingly. Then she must do it unwillingly. I'll teach her manners. You are brave, but I warn you, she treats everything as prey. Know you? Bill McGill at your service. Call me Larry. Or not. Ever did brandy? No, I've only my wits. Then you have nothing. Wits are useless here. Everything is downside up. I must see the Duchess. Impossible. She only sees those who don't wish to see her. That's not right. She's perfect. She's supposed to be hiding from the Red Queen who wants her dead. Her head? That too. Ruins me old, builds this monstrosity. She's mad as monkey mash, and just as tasteless. Well, never mind, we'll all perish soon enough. Sure you've no brandy! I'm here to retrieve the turtle's shell. I won't leave without it. Won't you indeed? Stick your thumb in her eye, what? Your devoted servant, Mum. I owe her a bad turn myself. Follow me! My little chick, mm, properly seasoned, you'd make a handsome dish. I'm not edible. Not a full meal, certainly, but a light snack, I think. I'll have the turtle shell now, you disgusting ogre. Over my dead body. I'll try to accommodate you. I'll have the leeches in to handle this mess. At least my shell's in tolerable condition. A simple thank you would have been nice. I've kept my part of the bargain, Turtle. Fair enough. I'll take you on a trip. 
Hover around my bubbles. Cuddle up to them. Never leave them. You'll muddle through. Finish what you start, please. Remember, you're just a visitor. We have to live here. I'm not on holiday. And I'm not ungrateful. You're an honorary reptile. Lucky me. You'll think so when you're underwater. You've taken your sweet time. What do you mean? You're the one who didn't wait. I have reasoned... Forget reasons. They're useless. Caterpillar is waiting. I remember him well. Thin-skinned, ill-tempered, smokes too much, disagreeable smell. Why do I need him? No one's wiser in Wonderland. Only he knows what you must do to save us. Now follow closely. The way is treacherous. We have so far to go and so little time to get there. Strange how quiet it is here now. I don't like it. Caterpillar is just beyond the clearing, Alice. Let's sacrifice stealth for speed. Everyone I love dies violently. Unnaturally. I'm cursed. Why go on? I'll just hurt others. No time for self-pity. Evade these savage soldiers and find Caterpillar. Go with the flow, whatever floats will do.
necessitates an enemy more completely than deep wounds, but winter does not last forever. You've returned. But Rabbit never told me why. And now he's gone. Why? Wonderland is severely damaged. You must set things right, that's why. I barely recognize this terrible place. What is it to me? It's home. Well, it could be. Having lost what you loved, you nearly wiped us out. You've started to rebuild. Your task, however, and your pain are not over. Why must I suffer? Because your mind is fouled by self-deception. Even your fantasies have fragmented into tortured versions of themselves. You are racked with guilt because you survived. And you dread the prospect of a life alone. What do you think I must do? Destroy the Queen of Hearts. Wonderland and your entire world can become whole again. I need to rest now. You need to regain your human size. Grow up, Alice. Embrace the truth. Travel to the fungiferous forest, now, and nibble from the mushroom of life. Take great care. The voracious centipede jealously guards it and rules over what you require. Pathetic and wretched excuse for warriors. Form a line. Bring the intruder to my den. I will punish her insolence and dispose of her. Trusted toadstools, but I suppose some must have their good points. I wish I were hallucinating. What a horrible choice. Eat a toadstool or remain food for insects. It's rude to eat and run, but sometimes it's unavoidable. 
The dimensions of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Only one path will bring you to the end game. Jabberwock's eye staff is incomparably powerful, but its individual pieces are worth less than the carcass of a gnat. <laughs> to destroy the palace filled with malice is the daring work of noble Alice. An endgame with the Red Queen is possible only after you crush her sentinel, the vile, fiercelicious, and vengeful Jabberwock. Without the staff that bears his name, destroying him is the hopeless work of a wasted life. I have one piece of the eye staff. Where are the others? Scattered throughout the world, when you have them all in hand, checkmate is possible. The Pale Royals may be of you. Obscure allusions to chess are fine, but it troubles me that anonymous oracles know more of my business than I do. Since you know the moves, best play with whites. They go first. Such order in the midst of chaos makes me woozy and disoriented. The regularity of the board disguises the predatory menace of certain pieces. Yeah. <laughs> 
Help us, please. The Red Queen's forces are strong and show no mercy. Our own queen is in terrible danger. I saw her captured. I'm sorry. Without her generalship, Red Winds were doomed. As am I if I can't pass through this realm. I must collect the pieces to the Jabberwock's eye staff. Free the White Queen, Alice. That would help us both. I'm not really a player. What are the rules? Rules? There are no rules. There's barely any strategy. No time. Make a frontal assault on the Red Castle. I won't lie to you. You'll meet deadly traps and fierce opposition along the way. Should I be grateful for the truth? A lie or two might have been more persuasive. In war, truth first. There's always time for lies later. You won't face the enemy alone. Carry this soldier to the White Queen. A mere pawn is the best I can hope for? I'm afraid so. Now return as you came. The rooks know the way. Look straight ahead, or askance, whichever way you choose, you must always look in the right direction. This simple game can turn distinctly nasty. Don't ever play alone.
damn it's what's the name from the neurotics ward? Nurse's favorite lunatic. Oh yeah? Scrawny, ain't she? Who let her out then? They'll blame us most like. She'll need more medicine. Strong medicine. She got anything to eat? Doubt it. She never finishes a grub at the asylum. If she had any meat on her, she'd make a delectable dish. Despicable, grotesque and smelly louts. I'll fill your bellies all right. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Spare me the platitude. Do you have any useful advice? Use their size against them. I only take mine with friends. Count me to be among them. Accurately, I mean honestly, that's the truth. Oh, I quite forgot. You and the truth are not on familiar terms. And you would know? Truth is always bitter to those who fear it. I fear nothing. Fault! You fear much. A return trip to the asylum, for example. The memories that drove you there. More years in, shall we say, supervised hospitalization? Ah, yes, you fear much. Of course, all that might be avoided. How? Tell me, what do you mean? Someone's come to release us! It's just a human, probably useless. <sighs> Undo us, please, from this contraption. Or you could give us tea if you'd prefer. Were you impolite at table? Did you slap your tea? Or talk while chewing? Confess your crime. We've done nothing of the kind. It's the Hatter. He's gone quite mad, if I do say so. Speaking of which, how is the Queen of Hearts not like a typhoon? Both are powerful, destructive, and indiscriminately cruel. But the typhoon doesn't mean to be. Good answer. Wrong, but good. Oh, I beg your pardon. You are in real danger. Where is your host? Real danger? Are we? Really? Here, I wish to go home. Evidently, I've worn out my welcome. The Hatter will be here at six, charm as clockwork. This is no opportunity to deny us our tea. Most cruel, I'm sure. And his medicine makes me tired. Ah, 
dark as Mercury and mad from it. He is obsessed with time. Find him or your own time may be short. Those two seem to barely comprehend their situation. They're blithering idiots. But the Hatter does come at six on the dot. For his tea? No. To check his cruel experiments. With gears, springs, levers, and mechanical gizzards, he seeks an impossible precision. Like a watchmaker obsessed with infinitesimal fractions of seconds, or a mathematician who tries to square the circle. He'll turn all the inhabitants into his automatons, or kill them in the attempt. That's simply awful. Six o'clock, you say? Six precisely, by that clock. Hmm. Perhaps six comes early today. The staff lacks only the Jabberwock's eye. Though he has two, I understand he's quite fond of them both. I doubt time will change his mind. Speaking of which, where's the Hatter? This unique watch stops time, for a time. Unlike death, time moves on. Those who stood still with time move on also, unless they're dead. With gratitude, I offer you my services. Promise only what you're prepared to deliver. I am destined to battle the Red Queen. The outcome is uncertain. You won't fight alone. Permit me to serve as your commander. 
I'll muster the forces whose allegiance your courage and skill have already won. How shall we prepare for battle? An assault on the Queen depends on breaching the gates to her kingdom. Only the Jabberwock's eye staff can pry them open. If you open the gates, I'll lead the troops to victory. Let us right the wrongs of this world together. Recruit whatever allies you can, Alice. We'll need them all. I'll return with reinforcements. Take heart! The time for action has arrived. You should not waste a day. No lame excuses do you contrive nor tolerate delay. It looks like I'm on holiday, Cat. Wandering about, having a bit of fun. The Oracle's an idiot. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless or insulting talk should never go unchallenged. You, bizarre creature. I was beginning to like you. Like me or don't. But believe me, the Jabberwock must be eliminated. Now. Blow open the gates and confront the Queen. I don't have the final piece of the staff. Without his eye, how can it be done? I don't know, but you must. The situation is urgent. What good are you to me? I'm supposed to attack this ferocious creature, but I'm not even sure this is my fight. It's no one else's, Alice. Only you can save yourself. Save myself? From death, is that it? Is that why I've come here? I'm not afraid to die. At times I've welcomed death. Not death. What then? A fate worse than death? I'm not stupid. Don't make me think you are. Think what you will, but know this. You withdrew from your world after the fire because you could not bear your terrible loss. When you answered Rabbit's call, you began to emerge from your tragedy. Stay on this path, Alice. Save yourself. And you will save Wonderland. You will restore us all. What I've been feeling, I am beginning to understand. I broke this world, and only I can repair it. Go well, Alice. The Jabberwock waits. With Griffin as your partner, you have reason to hope for success. He's the strongest among us. of virtue. You and my dentist's assistant have much in common. You're habitually late, aren't you? Between your dim-witted daydreaming and your queen vanity, the hours just fly by. There's barely time for anything else. That the best you can do? Hurl second-rate insults, they don't hurt. Your family was expecting you to come to them, weren't they? Perhaps they thought you might warn them of the danger, being close to the source as you were. But they waited in vain, didn't they? And died for their trouble. We were all asleep. It was an accident. I... Selfish, misbegotten, and unnatural child. You smelled the smoke, but you were in dreamland taking tea with your friends. You couldn't be bothered. Your room was protected and spared, while your family upstairs roasted in an inferno of incredible horror.
Alice. The eye staff is yours. The troops are gathered. Everything is ready. I'll deal with the Jabberwock. You are our champion. Lead us to victory in Queensland. Jabberwock's eye staff can pry them open. Ride the thermal drafts like a giant falcon. Turtle proved that being a reptile has advantages. Thank <laughs> you. 
time to jump in, time to jump through time. I'm dizzy. destroyed her guardian, Alice, and avenged my death. Enter the ultimate battle. Must I fight on? Can't the Red Queen be persuaded to surrender? True words and logic rarely defeat evil intent. She is still strong, and so many have been harmed. They want revenge, which we call justice. She made this world, and she must pay. You must lead our forces against her. I'm not sure I know how to lead. Do your best, Alice. You can only do your best. You can always do... best. Forces are leaderless, and a battle has begun. Deliver us from this evil, or let us perish.
queen, my lower incisors for the queen. Where is that wretched creature? Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fear by speak the truth without regard to consequence, your courage deserves no less. You've suffered great pain and you've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same... <laughs> with her head. I 
they rule Wonderland alone. Your interference will not be tolerated. This realm is for grown-ups. Raw, well-ordered, ruthless, careening on the jagged edge of reality. Self-pitying dreamers are not wanted here. They cannot survive here. You fear the truth. You live in shadows. Your pathetic attempts to reclaim your sanity have failed. Retreat to the sterile safety of your self-delusions, or risk inevitable annihilation. If you destroy me, you destroy yourself. Leave now, and some hollow part of you may survive. Stay, and I will break you down. You will lose yourself forever! Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Oh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My way. 
Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rawr! No! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new one emerge. Get it, Chris. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Doctor's pet. Too good for the asylum. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Which particular moment of the year? No, she pops up a corner of pictures at me. Amenable's not the word. She gave me quite a fright. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. 
no surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bombay won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Oh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's doled out the old pound or two. But what I know it's worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all oh, died on my account, I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took a stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. This she can't remember her name, what I heard. Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink? One man will send me to watch him. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. I swear, you jump so well. this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My God! I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, 
you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole. Vorpal blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dear a girl to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Finish your suit, girls. Bovine juveniles gave their all for it.
Master is either his doing or his epitaph. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. Crook? Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson rejects spontaneous combustion, but I trust Mr. Dickens. says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably, Rat. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. So typical. I've made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. He's obsessed with time. Find him, or your own time may be short.
lovely library was a fire trap. A conflagration waiting to happen. in pieces. Oh, you. What's happened here? You've lost your hat, and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely missed their missing. As what happened, you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place, or how to keep it? Now what's going on? Ah, that's going on. Round and up and down into my ears, into my eyes, not my nostrils, down my in my Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking last line. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious light, blinding, the noise hellacious. Ah, wait, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. The world is upside down, and Inmates run the asylum. No thanks. And worst of all, I've left Jesus. Tragic. If I do help, will you help me in return? Cross my heart, if I had one. Bind my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now, that's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the cock face. Impediment. <laughs> I'll just move along. Uh, 
I'll deal with you later, Alice. You'll never stop our grand plan. <laughs> will make a nice change. Expect no thanks until I'm completely reconstructed. No resting on laurels, chiffoniers, chaise lounges, ming folding chairs, uh, stools. Uh, uh. <laughs> of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Your token persistence will be rewarded with pain! I told you to cease and desist, but my warning goes unheeded, so without regret, your right like to feel like a lobster is being tossed into the boiling pot! my work and you're complete, Hatter. 
Now, what about this damnable train? I feel like a new man, or whatever I am. I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering, and changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away whom to wonder, wonder who. Who knows how to measure rules with a ruler? Cruel rules. <laughs> Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come, the least you can do is help me discover what's going on. severely impaired. Too quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left. You're too the late. Insolence, the arrogance, the oh. inscrutable table manners. They are destroyers of Wonderland. Defilers, denuders, derangers, delightful. Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die. Ah, put me down this instant. I ought to finish. Enough talk. Battle time, Missy!
Miss Hatter, you promised. Where is that train going? What's its purpose? Tell me, now. There's no time for whatever it is you want to talk about. It's time for tea. Talk treats with Turkey. He ran the looking glass line. <clears throat> Come on, you lot. We can still be friends. We've got to find our dealing. Drink, drink. <laughs> My memories are shattered. I'm trying to collect the pieces, and I now believe the train impedes me. You must help me. You promised. Ask the one who helps them what else themselves, whoever that is. Very pink. He deserved to die. And I'm about to drown in tea in ignorance. Caught me very own ribbon then. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways and got plans for her. Take her over to the Mangle Mermaid. Rent a bed. Answer woo a girl, Mr. Brawl. Do you think you're doing? What comes natural now? Not natural to me. Get away. Reminds me of my snowdrop. Nanny knew her. Uh, uh, you... Where's me money, you fucking spank bucket? Get those fat ass whores out on the street, or I'll come up and brain Sort off, you cocker snipe. You'll never get past Long Tim. I'll get what you and your flutes owe me, Miss Ladybird. See if I don't. Maybe you notice I'm not pissing me drawers at the prospect. Alice Little, you'll make a nice change. Bring your disheveled self up here. You won't give me what I want? I'll burn this dump of yours down to the ground. Go away. She's done no harm. She hurt me feelings.
Change the subject. We avoid speaking about the thing whose name should not be spoken. Hearing something useful about this new train would make for a change. You don't respect the suffering of others. Go ask your questions and smart remarks to Caterpillar. I'm sorry, Admiral. Really? Please, tell me what you know about the train. I'll just say we've escaped a contaminating corruption. Count yourself lucky to be down here. But I don't want to escape. I want to stop it. I must stop it to save myself. And Wonderland too. Nonsense. Speak more nonsense. Diversions rule the day. The show must go on and so on. Speaking of shows... We weren't. Yeah, well, never mind. Here's a ticket for the show Carpenter's Mounting. Use it. the night of the fire. The log I added to the grate was dead when I went upstairs to bed with Dinah. If it wasn't, I may be responsible for my family's deaths. Civility. Something wicked, I'll wager. show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your health velocity. I don't have much experience, but I do need to reconstruct my... We can barter. a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer if you... There's a train that's corrupting Wonderland, and I'm looking for help to restrain or destroy it. Most vexatious, no doubt, would address that monstrosity directly, as to say, eventually. Now, let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a large hysterical foul up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. The munificent script needs fetching. The writer's overly imaginative and exploring several endings. Then you'll need to assemble the show's tune deft music. And finally, gather our stars! The show's tasty. Uh, nay, tasteful performers. You should leave now. The essentiality of haste is essential. It hardly seems you're ready for the show. 
Why can't you assemble these things yourself? An impresario has arrangements. Ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc., etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or matter or matter as the case may be. Is the writer cantankerous? To a personage of your distinguished repudiation? I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta ta. This smells like a ripe distillery with a whiff of halitosis and urine. That's a scent of unrecognized genius. It's a piss off. More empties than a Dublin brewery. The carpenter sent me. For starters, the carpenter is a pusillanimous, parsimonious, petty fucking moron. That's his maybe, but he sent me for this script. I need. Your needs are shite. I need a drink. Who cares? I need those responsible for my abortive career in chains. No joy. I need to know what love is. The world is mum. Just now, I need a dose of hide and seek. Find me thrice, fair maid. Be quick about it. We can deal. A lifetime hiding his true colours gives him an edge. But he can't conceal the way he moves. It's all in the game. A fair cop. You've won. You're a good sport. And no one died. Join me in the library. Unlike some, I don't Welsh. The carpenter commissioned a song and dance number on morality. Art and good sense be damned. He demands mirth, silliness, and restrained debauchery all round. Wallace will do a hero turn as death. Imagine! I'll bring the script to the theatre. You can be on your way. No doubt carbon has got you collecting portion. The man really hires a proper talent. Some fish can sing, but not all. It's all wrong. If I had ears, they'd be hurting. I'm not terribly musical, but you seem out of tune. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. I can see that. Why not do something about it? And endanger my vocal cords. You might do it for Everyone me. Everyone here has an excuse for doing nothing. Reminds me of the asylum. Surely not lost. Perhaps mislaid. I suppose I'll have to help you carry the tune. Better be light. The audience will be grateful for your efforts. I doubt it. The performer's meager efforts will be enhanced by my musical score. Please wait for this exciting new.
down, one to go. Oysters are the presumptive stars of the show. Him and them. Did my dreams. Oh well, off to the show, I suppose. This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty, big deal. The show distraculates the crowd, shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start willing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now.
Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. Quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, shirt and gown all make their little fun. This life is full of random death and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident. You want someone to blame? Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, Princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I try to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However, this turns out. Consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where has it come from? It arrived when you arrived. And it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream! Caterpillar! Me know how! And my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead, and more's the pity. What did he want? What they all want. Money he didn't earn. What were you thinking, butting into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions, and I need to know about the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead, I killed them, I should have saved them, I should have died. But her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Every dose of madness, I'd say, but honesty is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped eyes like pinwheels. Occasionally squeaked, never uttered a sensible sound, and like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches, and those poor tykes of food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders feed and prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you... call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing. As you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurt no one. Booking's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. 
All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. Don't I know it? Forgotten your manners? And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. From the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. Did I rip his head off? I wanted to. What's left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. Something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing yet. We'll get worse. Your train keeps a hellish hit. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less. And if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. London Bridge could end my journey. Failure was your epitaph. I'd hoped you were more courageous. That vapor 
nearest ledge only appears as flimsy as the substantial of your confidence. It will hold you, trust me. What's become of my beautiful valley? All things change in the fullness of time, often not for better. familiar with the saying that smoking stunts your growth. Adults assault children with that adage, usually while they've got a pipe stuck in their mouths. I won't ask you to inhale. Let the smoke envelop you. Saves a single soul, saves the universe. Remember. Victories in combat and conundrums suggest your fitness to confront the challenges ahead. Mental strength will confirm your worthiness, or declare your defeat. Open the 
upon us and control the peaks to east and west. You must defeat them to reach Caterpillar's retreat. I suppose I must go to the mountain top, as it won't come to me. We have faith that Caterpillar, the strange and wondrous, helps those in need. One day we'll have proof. Purity of heart is to will one thing. To approach his sacred eyrie, you must confront the savage Daimyos. You prevent our access to his power. I'll open the entrance to the sacred caves where your journey begins. This depiction of domestic harmony and order, the fruitful landscape encouraged industry, tolerance, and cooperation. Loving families flourished, happy children, dear friends, grateful for their well-being, lived for generations, secure, active, and free. But a sudden onslaught of alien attacks broke their fragile bodies and nearly crushed their generous spirits. Conflagration's point of origin was obvious. First, the library caught fire, and it spread disastrously when the gas line exploded. the lamp in the library and Dinah didn't knock it over. The lamp and Dinah were upstairs when I went to bed. Dinah was in the room with me when the fire started. Sealed. 
Only by playing the correct sequence of bells can it be opened. A dubious honor, I suspect. The tune's embedded in my memory, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat. Get to the tree, Alice! Help our brothers! A bridge will complete the path, but this substance has blocked the way. Can you help us to remove it? I believe I've got the proper tool. At the top of the mountain, you will find the entrance to the next sacred cave. without true cause or purpose, abused and murdered their pacific victims, whom they hated for being different. The invaders corrupted the living world. The assaulted did not comprehend the masses' brutality. Still, they stayed on, trying to placate their oppressors and recover their past. The cruel interlopers attacked at intervals instead of killing them all at once. The wretched survivors suffered in perpetual fear. Is there a worse fate? You there, come close. I can recite Red Riding Hood backward. I know my multiplication tables, two elevens. I, I have intelligence. Hmm. Really? Persuade me. To remove the obstruction, wake the frog and empty his belly. Wake that? What about its tongue? A and the prospect of warts? Ooh. Anyway, how do you know? I imagined how it was done while I was sleeping.
restless seeker on private business arrived in the misery infested land. She, despite ignorance, uncertainty, and unhappiness in her own life, could not endure to see them suffering. She began to fight against the savage murderers, abusers, and defilers without quite knowing why or for whose sake she truly fought or how the struggle would end. rather than the real thing. Problems you refuse to deal with don't exist. You deny reality. That's not right. I know what's real. No, and you allow others to tell you what isn't real. Now, come inside. growing corruption or assess my search. What does she know that I don't? She is someone you once knew and loved. Time changes us all. Not all change is good. Remember that when you find the Queen. Regular this, Nick Ellis. What's this time, Fred? Howling outside the old lady, muttering about a murder in Threadneedle Street, cursing insects on the National Railroad. Had to bring her in, didn't I? Chut, 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 menace to herself. Ah, no danger to have her, surely. She don't belong in jail. Too true, but where then does she belong? Let's walk her out, Fred. Send her back to Dr. Bambi. He raised holy hell last time I kept her overnight. Oh, what happened? Same night Jack splattered at the waste of mother's love, was nabbed for gutting that heavy outside a mermaid. Yeah, I was taking Alice down and uh, we meet two coppers walking Jack to the cells. He's mad than the usual, I'd never. Wrong bloke nonsense uh, when he sees Alice. That's a bitch what done it, he yells. She screams, you miserable cur, you leech, you maggot, living off another's labour, etc, etc. I'm admiring her line of inquiry, but suddenly she hits her head or something and fates. Couldn't send her home, could I? And Dr. Bumby pitched a fit. 
Said he'd have me jobbing me arse on a plate. <laughs> Told him he could have the former. <laughs> Leave the latter alone, thank you very much. Good night, Alice. <laughs> You're on the way out. to admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. She didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you've put it down. You must speak to her. What's left of her anyway? Kingdom's in ruins, but you're no better off. When you defeated her, I tried to reclaim the castle, but I was set upon by her monstrosities. The malignant royal bitch still reigns. I'm here to petition her. I must get inside. The only way in is through me. Sacrifices must be made. Those who say so usually mean they should be made by others. Cynicism is a disease. It can be cured. Once inside, beware of the outsized killer who patrols her domain. Never confront him. He is invincible. Now cut me loose. I'll show you the meaning of sacrifice.
Beauty had a better chance with his windmills, and without risk of decapitation. A prudent exit in this for being hasty. We are all victims in waiting.
reflection sometimes exposes more reality than the object it echoes. Lizzie hated locked rooms. Her room was further from the fire than mine. Smoke could not have killed her. She never locked her door. And besides, she knew another way out of the house. Out of the window. Someone incapacitated or killed Lizzie. Then locked her door, then took the lamp downstairs and started the fire to cover up their crime. Their plan was to kill us all. or insulting talk should never go unchallenged.
I was expecting someone else. You don't know your own mind. It's nearly a complete stranger. What you claim not to know is merely what you've denied. You've recaptured your vagrant memories. What are you doing with them? You once rejected my attempts to control our lives forcefully. But now you've allowed another to succeed in my role. I won't miss your tentacles. You would prefer the hot, stinking breath and unyielding attention of a potent, unreasoning, unfeeling hellraiser? I don't think so. Can you give me more than a warning? Caterpillar said you might help. I'd need a better reason to respond than what's currently on offer. If you don't, we're all doomed. Not doomed. Forgotten. I may survive here, but you're finished. You see the pattern of destruction? I know you do. Train is trying to destroy all evidence of your past, and especially the fire. Now, who would want that? Who benefits from your madness? The destruction of Wonderland is the destruction of me. Indeed, and vice versa. I've set it in motion. I can derail it. This is good for me. I'm not in some. I didn't kill my family. I am fine. I'm not mad. I'm innocent. I, I mean, not guilty. What's happening? What are you doing? The train must be stopped. But there's more to do. Your view conceals a tragedy. The whole truth you claim to see eludes you because you won't look at what's around you. There is no method in this madness. My professional opinion, madness is often a treatable disease, though perhaps not in this case. Authority must be obeyed, or it must be overthrown. Cruel to be kind, that's my technique, as they say. But she's as mad as a hat on poor dearie. Worst is over, and over, and over. Forget it, Alice. Forget it. Can't distinguish reality from illusion. Remember your last journey? An elephant never forgets where she left her trunk when traveling by train of a lease. Never bigger than your head. I may be wrong, Your Grace, but I doubt it. Down this path of primordial ooze and sideways. Indeed, Doctor. Well demanded, I'm sure. I mean to say, it's very hot in here. I mean to say, Fuzzy, and she's no helping. Oh no, no help at all. Humiliation, I say. I approve your release, and back you come like a bad penny. Reputation in ruins. People talk, Alice. I'm an old dog, ready to bone. Don't you know? Loyalty. You must never run away from her. Stay, Alice. Sit. name from the idiot's wall. Yeah, it's Alex. Uncle Paul's lunatic. The instruments are gruesome, but a hole in the head gives the troubles more space. Just the thing for your stone of madness. Good facetious too, maybe. You must be as sick of those as I am here and you whinge about them. Some mental conditions are relieved by bloodletting. Doctor thinks it won't be effective against your symptoms, but I am at the end of my tether, and these leeches need the work. A baker's dozen, nurse. Let me put them on her. Oh,
I know. Which way's up and which way's down? I was gonna say... No prayers. Don't interrupt. If I can't... Go to the lavatory. Maddening. Yes, you are. But what am I? I'll give you... A present? You shed it. I've nothing for you. I defer to your enormous heart, your worship. Just a cock's comb. A, a, a catacomb. The ca a felix feeler. What cat? Where? Is the fox among the pigeons? Moved out of the hen house then. What, what? Come now, Alice. Am I not to be as much honoured and obeyed as the Queen? Is that asking too much? I want what she wanted. Give yourself over to that. Trade the tentacles for the train. It's altogether a better ride. It's that or back to Rutledge. Never a kind word or reward for services rendered. Don't I deserve a bit of luck? Don't miss all what's right now. And to me, I say, brought you out of the asylum. Now you go back on your own accord. I told your mother, dear, you're a distant and stubborn child, too content in her own world. Young women need to leave their wonderlands. The real world is not so wonderful. They'll need to grow up. Perhaps some more time and care. You look decent enough. But appearances deceive. I know you are for an unstable and violent person. I can't say I'm surprised you've been incarcerated in the asylum again. A long stay under supervision would serve you right. will deprive them of what remains of their deranged soul. They need care. I know their pain. I would assist, but is sanity required for the job? A limited quantity. You're not mad enough to be rejected. You're like them. Of them, in a way. But not them. I should say, not us. For I'm them, but you're on your way. The way is clearly marked. I... I believe I know that way, and I'd rather not travel further along it. He's here, you did wait. <laughs> Get inside.
two for every task. Even the humble funnel has a special job. How would you get gin from a barrel into a bottle? Looks like a perfect fit, and I'm a perfect judge. Time to put your new noggin to use. Annihilate what threatens to destroy you.
I had a role in my family's demise, but I did not start the fire. Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. My father would wish that you hold your tears, girls. He lived a long life, and as the poet says, like a clock worn out with eating time, the wheels of weary life at last stood still. Appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family, my mind, the infernal train. The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats, and wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engine here. I'll stop that train. It's the last thing I do. As you wish. of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. Something else? I'd like to forget, but 
it. I've tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened. And you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment, then. I know I'm guilty of something, but punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. You're right, abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. my memories, but you failed to make me forget. I could have made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad, like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. What is this train's destination? Madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no! Oh, poor Lizzie! And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed! Some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed. A hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My God, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You, monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement.
not go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions, too, die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it, agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now.